Welcome back, everybody. Fox Body Garage, back at it again. TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Here we go. Another long week. Back in the garage, Friday night. I assembled the heads. I put the new springs. I put the heads on. I talked them. I did 50, 60, and 65. And the talk sequence is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's fine. The head gasket goes that way. It says front on it. If you put the head gasket on correct, it should protrude out from the front. If you put it on correctly, it should protrude out from the front. If you don't have this, the head gasket's on backwards. If you don't have this, the head gasket's on backwards. All right. With that said, I uh, mounted the heads, torqued them down. Also, the bottom bolts get sealer on the threads. They go into the water jackets. If you don't put sealer... You're going to have a leak. What I do is I put sealer on every one of them. This way when I talk them, they all have the same amount of sealer. They all talk the same, not the top talk easier than the bottom because of the sealer, vice versa. I don't know if it makes a difference. That's just my... Uh, that's just my madness. That's the way I do it. I don't know if it's right. I don't know if it's wrong. That's just how I do it. Okay. The rocker arms. Okay. I'm sure we don't have to explain how to put the lifters in. But we'll do it anyway. Just to be safe. In case someone needs to know. Okay. The lifters. They go down in the bore. And there's the dog bone. Or the spider. Whatever. It goes in between and it holds the lifter from spinning back and forth. Let me see if I have a lifter. Uh, look at this. Yes, I got an old lifter. Okay. You see the flat spot on this lifter? It's a flat spot on this side too. What happens is the dog bone goes down onto it on the two flat spots like that and prevents it from spinning because this is a roller tip lifter and we want the roller to move up and down on the camshaft we don't want it to start doing this so <coughs> excuse me that's why we have the dog bones the dog bones go there and then this cage with these two bolts sits on top and rests on top of the dog bones, preventing the dog bones from lifting off. That's how that works, okay? And uh, what we did now is the valve train. I just thought of it to make a video. I was just moving and hustling and bustling, and I want to get this done. I'm going to try to get this thing running this weekend in the car, at least turning the key. So that's why I came. I think I'm up to the last one. Okay. Yeah. I did all these. I'm up to this one here. Okay. If you have the intake off the engine, okay, you can see the lifter. It's down. It's on the base circle of the camshaft. It's at its lowest point. Both of them. It's at its lowest point. It doesn't matter if it's on compression stroke, this stroke, it doesn't matter. If you got the intake off and you could see the lifter, they're down at the lowest point. That's when you want to adjust. That's when you want to adjust the rockers. When the lifters are at the base circle of the camshaft, the lowest point of the camshaft, okay? That's when you want to adjust the rockers. Now, these are just stock rocker arms, okay? There's no... They just get torqued down. The book says 19 to... 
23 pounds. I put them at 23. Okay. But when you do this, you got to set the lash. So what you do is you run the nut down until you got no slack in the push rod. Not until you can't spin it. Not until you can't spin it, but until you can't go up and down no more. Okay, let me loosen it up because I was ready to do it and then I decided to make a video. Sorry. All right, look, you see how this push rod goes up and down now? Okay. What we want to do is we want to turn the adjusting nut, okay, until we can't lift it up and down no more. Okay. Keep turning the nut until we can't go. Okay. We could still go up and down a little bit. I feel it. You're not going to be able to see it, but you'll be able to feel it. Okay. What you do is you turn it until you got zero lash. Zero lash. Okay. Now, once you got zero lash, okay, for stock rocker arm adjustment, this is not for stud mounted rocker arms or adjustable rocker arms. This is for stock pedestal style rocker arm adjustment. Once again, you turn the adjusted nut. First of all, let's recap. The lifters must be at its lowest point, base circle. We can do this this way because we have the intake off. This is probably the easiest way. You don't got to know about exhaust opening and intake closing and none of that stuff because you can physically see the lifters are at its lowest point. So you could do this one. The intake, or you can do the exhaust. It don't matter because they're both at the base circle. Got it? Got it. We turn the nut. We got it to zero lash. Okay? We don't want to turn the nut so much. Let's see if you can see that if I turn the nut, you can see I'd start to compress the plunger. We don't want to do that. It's a hydraulic plunger. We want to just turn it just so... The slack is out, up and down, without collapsing the plunger at all. Okay? Now, we take the torque wrench. It's going to be hard with one hand. We take the torque wrench, and we put it to 23 pounds. I don't know if you can see it, or you can't, but it's at 23 pounds. What I like to do is, I put it on at at 12 o'clock and I turn it and I turn it and I turn it and if it don't click by three quarters of a turn or one full turn then you got push rod geometry wrong and something's going on look at that three quarters of a turn and we're clicking that's how you know your good money if you turn this a full turn all the way around or one and a half turns, something is wrong. You should click 23 pounds between a half and three quarters of a turn, one full turn max. If you got to go more than one full turn, you got a problem. Either the push rod is too short, too long, you don't have it sitting right. You didn't do the lash, the, the zero lash with the push rod. Something is wrong. You probably have to get shims and put them underneath, and that's a whole nother video. Okay? So that's how we do that. Let's do it again. I'm going to get to 12 o'clock. Hopefully I can get this on here. Okay? And hold on. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Okay? And we got to get a click. Either half or three quarters. Look at that. Half. And there's the click. And I noticed that all the exhausts are clicking a little more than half. And all the intakes were clicking three quarters of a turn. I'm happy. It's going to be perfect. 
This method is for stock style pedestal mounted rocker arms only. Pedestal mounted rocker arms only. This is the method. And that's with the intake off. Okay? It's the easiest way. Recap one more time. People get confused and it, I was one of them. So trying to help out here. As long as they're down at its lowest point, the lift is, that on the base circle of the camshaft, you do the zero lash with the nut. Don't collapse the lifter. Just take the slack out of the push rod. Go up to it. Do your three quarters to one full turn. If you don't click the torque wrench at 23 pounds, something is wrong. That's how you do it. Okay, now, if you had the intake on and you can't see the lifter valley, what I would do is... I turn the motor. First, I determine the exhaust, the exhaust valve right here. This is the exhaust port. This is the exhaust valve, exhaust rocker arm. What I do is I turn the motor until I see the push rod. Actually, you put your hand on it like this. And you push down a little bit and you turn it. And as soon as you see the push rod come up, the exhaust opens, it's called. As soon as you see that exhaust push rod open, exhaust open, you do the intake the way I showed you. Zero lash. We can't see it, so we'll do it from here. You go up and down, up and down, up and down, turning this nut zero lash once you get zero lash and all the slack out of it you put the torque wrench on you got the torque wrench set to 23 pounds and you turn it around all the way and it should click between three quarters and one full turn and then you're good that's how you do the intake now with the exhaust Okay, we're going to do the exhaust now. So what we do is, since we did the exhaust opened, exhaust opened, we adjusted the intake. Three quarters of a turn, zero lash, boom, beautiful. Now what we do is we watch the intake valve. You put your finger on it. This one is adjusted, we just did. And you turn the motor in the rotation. And you're going to see it's going to go up. The intake valve is adjusted already. It's going to go up. Once you start seeing it go up, okay, now it's going up. We see it go up. And then when it just starts to start coming down, it's still going up. As soon as it starts to go down, Like that, boom. Starts to go down. You see it going down? Beautiful. You stop, and now you can adjust the exhaust. If you don't believe me, I'm going to show you because we have the intake off. You see the lifter? It's at its lowest point. Now you can adjust that one. If you couldn't see it, the intake opens. As soon as it starts to close, you do the intake side, uh, I'm sorry, the exhaust side. Same procedure, up and down, up and down, up and down. Turn the nut, zero lash, three quarters to one full turn. That's it. Have a great day and a safe tomorrow. Welcome back, Fox Body Garage. Peace.